Okay, so Biofuel essentially came about because we were racing electric cars, uh, tarmac rallying electric cars. We needed more sustainable uh, method of charging the cars. We came up with Biofuel and it just turns out it's actually very applicable for remote road houses and hence we are here in Kaiguna. Biofuel is a solution for remote areas for charging electric vehicles using sustainable renewable fuel. Now, the fuel is, is the waste fryer oil generated by the road houses. It's collected, it's filtered and we run it straight in the generator. Well, this is usually the fryer oil comes with a few crispy bits. We like to filter those out, uh, purify the oil and then we run it in the engine. Okay, so most road houses out in these remote areas are, are, are not connected to the grid. Uh, they, they generate their own power from diesel generators and often inadequate for, or well, sufficient for their own needs, uh, inadequate for fast charging EV. So this is a standalone solution independent of the roadhouse power system uh, for fast charging to enable these cars to traverse these long distances. A little bit more up. Okay, so biofuel uh, runs on uh, waste fryer oil. Um, the canola plants take the CO2 and the sunlight, make the oil. The oil gets used for commercial purposes, frying chips. It becomes a waste product. Uh, the biofuel takes the energy from that waste oil, puts the CO2 back where it came from, and puts the energy into the car. It's an example of net zero no incremental impact on the environment. I'm here supporting John. He's um, developed the biofilm. It's a fantastic invention. And there's so much waste cooking oil here out the outback. It's just getting put into the ground. It's why not use it to fuel an EV? Plugging in the gap. That's the, that's the plan. <laughs> no, it's not just a city car. And, and people are a bit more adventurous because they've got an EV, they want to see how far they can go and where other people haven't been before. Oh, look, for us, it's, it's all about uh, trying to find solutions for West Australian and Australian conditions. We've got very long roads and very short grids. I, I think it's a great solution right now because, <clears throat> as you can see, people are buying cars and they need to go to places. And in the absence of solar and battery and hydrogen microgrids, this is it, this is the solution. So this is currently what's getting, allowing electric car owners to drive around WA and now get to South Australia. Electric vehicles have always been able to go just about anywhere, but with these fast chargers on the Nullarbor, it's never been faster or easier to get to and from Perth. We were quite taken aback. We're a fuel station, of course. You know, we're we're here to sell fuel, not to uh, not to sell electricity. But um, you know, after careful consideration and and you know, John's handled us for a while. Um, everything's kind of made a little bit of sense, and we thought we'd give it a crack. It's, a, it's an EV uh, owners, drivers, uh, our community effort. Um, we we do have a chuff campaign running, plugging the gap. Uh, People interested in assisting us can, can make a small donation, it's tax deductible. But these, these funds will go towards uh, putting these charges in the critical spots that allow the EV traffic to traverse the Nullarbor. Uh, Kaiguna goes through 20 litres of chip oil a week and Cocklebitty goes through about 40. So it's about 60 litres a week of chip oil that we go through. It's about 240 litres a month that we can put towards the, uh, the fuel for the generator. It's extremely important to be self-sufficient out here because of the simple fact that there's nowhere else to get anything from. You know, if we get a truck once a week. If we miss that truck with any kind of supplies, we've got another week before we get resupplied or we've got an 800 kilometre drive to go and pick it up ourselves. Job's done. All good. <laughs> Fast charging is charged normally at a dollar a kilowatt. It's going to be a free charge for the first six months, and then after that we will uh, we will probably put a tariff on it. Awesome. Excellent. <laughs>